Kent Matt um, delighted delighted for the players delighted for everybody that has worked so hard behind the scenes um, I suppose for the, for the management you know like so Jim um, Paul Packy Aideen and uh, Debbie super people great people and you know they got the Juro award here today slow start yeah we, we, we kind of struggled to break them down especially they, they, they played players behind the ball and when they did that it, it took us ages to break them down but when we broke them down then well, we, we, we got, when we got the scores, I think the girls settled down. I thought the first five or six minutes we were un, under a bit of pressure. Um, I thought the nails were there, but the very minute we got, we got Witt in Crow Park and we, we, we really moved it up, we moved it up a gear. And we got, I think we got some vital scores before half time. They, they, they were the, the, the main thing and we drove on from there. Was it planned to be so defensive, John? Was the yeah, you have to defend. You, you basically, you have to defend because, you know, in Gaelic football at the moment, you know, every team is playing the extra players and they, they hope to break. So we had to come up with a plan. We, we studied loud, um, in depth, and um, we did video analysis. So basically, we knew exactly the way they played and we counteracted it here today. Sometimes you can plan, it doesn't go to, to plan, but today our plan went to plan, so it's good. For the first 10 minutes, you did well on the very you did well on the players behind the ball. When you got that goal in, it was an entire shift of momentum. It was like a, it was like a roll reverse. But when, you lose, when, you got the, when you got the goal, you got the, the bit between your teeth, you, you kicked off. Yeah, I think this, the other thing was just that I think Loud, Loud at that stage kind of lost a little bit of momentum and we gained it and we must move on. So to be fair um, to everybody, it, it was, it, we, just, we just seemed to up a gear and when we upped the gear, there was no stopping us. John, a couple of early frees we opted for a shot free rather than taking a pot in Yeah, look, you know, you can plan all you want, Matt, but you know, I, I know you're right, we did. But in saying that at the same time, you know, we had to get used to playing in Crow Park. This is our first time some of those girls inside there. So, like, you know, we, we probably took the wrong option. But as we settled down, then we got it right. John, when you did settle down, your play, support running in particular, was outstanding. Yeah, Jerome, we walked off the, off the shoulder an awful lot in training. I think the girls were sick of us running fours and threes and twos coming up the field with the, with the extra running and breaking from behind. And that, that kind of, we, we instilled that into him. I think Jim Moran doing a great job with his game plan. Um, we studied the, the, the game plan very, very well and we walked off that. So when we were walking off of both, both off, uh, defensively coming out with the ball, we wanted to make sure that, that we, we just drove on with it and that was, that was the main thing. You can have all the game plans in the world, but to get it to come, not yeah, I think, 100% on all our final day is a fair achievement. Yeah, yeah, Jerome, but these are they're a special bunch of players and you know, just today was, was a very special day for them and, and uh, you know, there was, there was a, a calmness in the, in, coming up yesterday, there was, a, there was a sing song in the bus, and this morning you'd hear a pin drop in the bus. So they focused the very minute they left the Red Cow, and they just walked from there. And um, we knew in the dressing room before they went out that today was going to be Limerick's day. You probably warned them at half time of a bit of a Yeah, look, you know, we were, we were up. I, I think back now while we were up at half time, but 10 points. And, and, you know, you can sit in the lead and you can drive on. And we drove on, thank God, and we got some, some great scores. John? We all know about the potency of the attack coming up and, and, and what was in reserve. The defence stood up to the mark today. Yeah, I thought Christine Reedy was an excellent, um, super cornerback. I thought the walk rate of our backline, Ava Hattigan, you know, came out time and time again with ball. So, you know, Katie Mee in the half back line defended very well and carried the ball up the field and caused problems for Lowe because Lowe didn't have to, when we, we went to Sutton, when we passed past the halfway line, they had to defend it and they were trying to break as well to get scores and look, we just, the girls were absolutely immense. What does this mean to, to Limerick Ladies Football? Well, it's, it's great, I think that they should use this going forward for the, the schools, for the promotion of the game at schools level and at, at, at club level and underage level because, you know, you need, to, you need to buy into what the girls have done now and you need to drive this on. Um, I think that hopefully that everybody, the, the underage structure within the county and the, the county board should sit down, plan this and basically feed off it because last Tuesday morning there was a fantastic um, breakfast in the woodlands and they, they, you know, we should be promoting ladies football um, but we've, we're, we're absolutely delighted to be our Ireland champions. Yeah, the one thing when you're working with a player with these players is that they're absolutely top class. They, they, they believe in their own ability. Number one and number two is, you know, no matter what we've asked them this year, we trained in Beale in the beach in the hot, water, hot weather. Um, we spent a day above in in um, in Offaly in a training camp, and they bought into all this. 
you know, sometimes you might get a group of players that wouldn't, but these these players did, and we just drove it on, and they're they're absolutely immense. I couldn't speak highly enough for them. It's been a incredible few weeks for Limerick. And yeah, it's massive. John Kiley here a few weeks ago at Limerick, and they have they have handled themselves very very well, and we fed off uh, off their energy, and we fed off their their their. You know, everything that they did brought something special to the city and the county. And you know, we, anyone that could that buys into that um, fantastic win a couple of weeks ago here in Crow Park, and we bought into it. And you know, we fed back off it. And you know, we're here today. I had. Well, look, John is a, John is a great man, a great leader. Um, loves his sport, loves everything, and, and we, I'd like to thank him for he, he came out and, and you know supported us. And we spoke on it like. As he said when you were interviewing Matt, you know, stick to the process which we did today, stick to the game plan and that it'll come for you.